Diaries of Sister Hooves. Chapter 2. New Hope. One of the advantages and disadvantages that came with living in a small town like Ponyville is that news from within the town spread like wildfire. Therefore, which they forgot the E on therefore, but anywho, therefore by noon the next day, the news of the fates of rarities and sweeties' parents was common knowledge. Concerned for her friend, Twilight Sparkle rushed over to Rarity's boutique. Almost the second she heard the news, waiting for her, were her. Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Apple Bloom, and Scootaloo. And of course, Spike had accompanied Twilight. They, <clears throat> they haven't been down all day. That didn't sound like Applejack at all. Hmm. Applejack told Twilight. Sweetie Belle wasn't even in school today, Ed Skulu. Miss Cheerilee didn't get a note or anything, Apple Bloom added. Sounds bad. Hmm. Sounds bad. Let's go in. They need us, said Twilight. The seven point ponies and one dragon searched the house of their for their friends. Sweetie Belle isn't in the guest room, called Apple Bloom. And Rarity forgot to feed Opal, said Fluttershy, looking in the kitchen, where Rarity's cat was looking into her empty food dish. They must be in Rarity's room, said Twilight. Well, well, they're definitely in there, said Applejack as they stood outside of Rarity's bedroom door. The sound of the sobbing sisters filled the air. Are you okay, Rarity? Twilight called through the door. Go away, came Rarity's shrill yell. Um, Sweetie Belle, are you... In there, we brought you your homework, said Skulu, not knowing what else to say. I said, go away, Rarity replied even louder. Yeah, go away, Sweet Belle added her voice. It was not as loud as her sister's, but it sounded more hurt than angry. Ah, that wasn't nearly right. Yeah, go away. <laughs> The door is unlocked, Twilight noticed. Then let's go in, said Rainbow Dash. The floor of the room was dominated by used tissues, and the two unicorns were still in bed, having apparently never left since the previous night. I told you to go away, said Rarity, moving for the first time in hours. Her mane was a tasseled mess, and her face was strained with tear-strained eye makeup. Rarity, we just want to help, Flash I assured her. Can't you all see? We want to be alone, said Rarity. But, Rarity, we understand, but the way you're mourning can't be healthy, said Twilight reasonably. I just need to be alone with Sweetie Belle, said Rarity, pointing a hoof to her sister, who was still crying not even acknowledging the other pony's presence. But Rarity, Applejack began before Rarity cut her off. I'm really off my game in the voice acting. Well, onwards. But nothing, Sweetie Belle and I are now. Rarity paused before finishing her sentence. The only family we have left. The seven ponies looked at each other and realized there was nothing they could do right now. All right, we'll leave you alone, said Twilight. What are we going to do? We can't leave them like this, said Twilight to the concerned friends once they reached her library home. They'll go crazy, said Pinkie Pie. Maybe we should just let them get over it. In their own way, said Rainbow Dash. But they're not getting over it. 
They're just stuck on the fact that their parents are gone. They need to get out of that room or they'll never be able to move on, said Twilight. So, what do we do? asked Apple Bloom. Well, we need to remind them of the good times, said Twilight, before pausing to think. Doesn't Rarity have a collection of old pictures in her basement? Twilight asked in No Pony in particular. Wait. She does. I know it. That should be does and apostrophe, not an e. Ah, e, not apostrophe. She does. I know it, said Fluttershy happily. But when every pony turned to look at her, her voice became more hushed. I mean, I think I saw them one time, maybe, she said shyly. Okay, here's the plan, said Twilight. Fluttershy, Fluttershy, you need to sneak back into Rarity's house and get those photos, said Twilight. Okay, said Fluttershy quietly. Girls. Twilight continued, pointing a hoof at Apple Bloom and Scooloo. We need a blank notebook. On it, the two fillies said enthusiastically. Huh, I need to figure some way to speak in two different voices at once. Wow, well, I'm not even that good at the voices, so we have. Pinkie Pie, do you have any art supplies? Twilight went on. No problem said Pinky, running over to the wooden horse, head in the center of the library. Pinky then pulled um it should be off pulled off the statue's back mane and reaching in, pulling out the paint brushes, crayons, markers, synthetic glue, paint paint stamps, and colorful paper. Let me guess, said Twilight. You have art supplies stashed all over Ponyville, in case of art supply emergencies, she asked. How did you know? asked Pinky. Twilight giggled and replied, <laughs> call it a hunch. What about, what about us, Twy? asked Applejack, referring to herself in Rainbow Dash. I need you girls here to help me find a few things with me and Spike, said Twilight. The next few hours found the ponies. And dragon, drawing, pasting, cutting, drawing, and writing. You know you put drawing twice in there. Of course, that may be the point. When finally their creation was complete, and they made their way to Rarities once again. Rarity! Twilight called from outside the unicorn's bedroom door. Go away! responded Rarity. We just want to give you something, Twilight told her. We don't want it, said Sweetie Belle's voice. Come on, we worked hard on this. The least you could do is... Rainbow Dash rather harshly began before Applejack quickly stuffed a hoof in the Pegasus' mouth. Should be Pegasus's mouth, but... <laughs> Oh, and if you're wondering, if I remember correctly, the author asked for me to, like, note anything. So, yeah. That's why I'm being critical. Please, just open the door for one minute so I can give it to you, Rarity, Twilight pleaded. Oh, all right, said Rarity, cracking her door open with her magic. She then... She, redundancy, magically lifted the parcel and floated it to the bed. Thank you, girls, said Rarity before closing the door. Rarity looked at the gift. It was a notebook wrapped in a ribbon. Hmm, what is this supposed to be? Rarity asked herself as Sweetie Belle crawled out from under the covers out of curiosity. Rarity looked down at the cover. It was marked with a picture of the nine ponies and one dragon huddled together. Above the drawing was the title, Diaries of Sister Hooves, 
written in yellow crayon. What is this? said Sweetie Belle, wiping her face clear of mucus and tears. I don't know, said Rarity as she flipped the notebook open. First page of the book displayed a photo of young Rarity in her mid-teens, laughing and hugging her delicate, delighted mother as her father ruffled her mane. Rarity giggled. I remember this. When this was taken, that was the night Mother told me she was expecting, said Rarity. Expecting, said Sweetie Belle curiously. A baby, darling, said Rarity. A baby, said Sweetie Belle before realizing and smiling. Oh, me. That's right, dear, said Rarity, turning the page. The next photo was of Rarity's mother, lying in the hospital bed looking very tired but happy, and Rarity was next to her, holding a small bundle of pink blankets and wearing a saddle sack. Oh, that was the day you were born, said Rarity. Really? asked Sweetie Belle. Yes, I remember it. It will remember it well. I had just come home from school, and Rarity... Said Rarity. Flashback. I'll show her, said a teenage Rarity, as she walked through her parents' front door. I'm home, she called. However, no response came. Hello? Said a pony slightly older than Rarity, with a white coat and a red cross for a cutie mark. Who are you? Asked Rarity, stepping back a little. I'm a nurse at Ponyville General. I was sent here to tell you that your mother went into labor earlier today, said the nurse. You mean she had the baby? asked Rarity excitedly. Yes, said the nurse, earning a squeal of delight from Rarity. Yes, well, I was sent here to take you to the hospital, said the nurse. The walk to the hospital was more like a hop for Rarity, because she was jumping for joy. And by the time they arrived at the hospital, Rarity literally ran to her parents' room, once receiving the information on the location. Where's the baby? was the first thing Rarity asked when she barged into the room. She's right here, said Rarity's mother, handling her a bundle of pink blankets. Rarity looked in eagerly. Inside was a sleeping foal with a white coat and a small nuzzle of pink and purple swirled mane. Is it a boy or a girl? asked Rarity excitedly. It's a girl, dear. Your new little sister, Sweetie Belle, said Rarity's mother. As she spoke, the foal began to fidget in the blankets. Oh, I think she's waking up, said Rarity as the foal's eyes began to flutter open. Hi, Sweetie Belle. I'm your big sister, Rarity, said Rarity in a gentle voice. Oh, gentle. Hi, Sweetie Belle. I'm your big sister, Rarity, said Rarity in a gentle voice. Sweetie Belle looked confused for a moment. However, in an instant, her face split into a smile. And a flashback. Then what happened? asked Sweetie Belle eagerly. Oh, father took the picture, then he and I went home, so you and mother could get your rest, said Rarity. The next few pages of the notebook contain pictures of Rarity and or Sweetie Belle playing together, enjoying holidays and going through the highlights of late teen and full life. Hey, Rarity, what's going on here? asked Sweetie Belle pointing to a picture of Rarity wearing a dress and sniffing a bouquet of, flower, of blue flowers enthusiastically. Rarity's ears dropped. Oh, that's me when I was trying to get into design school at Cantalot University, she said. Really? What happened? asked Sweetie Belle. Moving on, said Rarity quickly, turning the page to a picture of Rarity joylessly taking for sale sign from the yard of what would one day of what would one day is her boutique 
should be joyously taking a for sale sign from the yard of what would one day should be B her boutique. So yeah. And I'm guessing the uh, bouquet of blue flowers uh, has an inappropriate story attached to them. That's why she was like, moving on, right after she said, really? But I don't know. The author probably does. After flipping through the section of the notebook containing picture Sweetie Belle's early fillyhood, the two sisters came to a hoof-drawn picture of Rarity, Fluttershy, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Twilight, each one wearing a necklace, or in Twilight's case, a diadem, which if I, I think I remember before looking up this word, basically tiara facing a midnight blue unicorn with wings, a.k.a. Alicorn. The day we face Nightmare Moon, said Rarity, the next few pages were of the highlights of the last year, including the founding of the Q Mark Crusaders, Rarity's gala designs, the talent show, and other such things. The notebook ended with a copy of the letter that Sweebel and Rarity had sent to the princess, sent to Princess Celestia about being sisters. Rarity flipped back through the book to the family picture of the two unicorns and their parents. I suppose that they're even... suppose that even if they're... Rarity struggled to continue before managing. Gone. We'll always have our memories. And we'll still be family, right? Asked Sweetie Belle. Of course we are, Rarity assured her younger sister. Sweetie Belle, I think it's time to get out of bed and move on with life, said Rarity. Of course, the, I think the said Rarity should be on the line above, but... Okay, said Sweetie Belle, lacking enthusiasm. Dear, is something wrong? Asked Rarity. Sweetie Belle began to cry as she spoke. It's just that I still miss them, she said. Sweetie Belle, dear, there is nothing wrong with that. I still miss the as well. It should be them as well. I still miss them as well, said Rarity, placing hoof around her little sister. We always will miss them, but we can't let that stop us from living our lives, Rarity went on. Besides, they wouldn't have wanted us to do that, Rarity added. You're right, Rarity. That sounded weird, but... Said Sweetie Belle. But what if I always miss them? Asked Sweetie Belle. Rarity smiled and put a hoof on her sister's shoulder. Then... <clears throat> then we'll miss them together, she said. Sweetie Belle smiled and hugged her sister. You can come in, every. You can come in now, everyone, said Rarity, opening the door with her magic. The seven ponies and dragon walked in. So, are you guys going to be okay? asked Twilight. Rarity and Sweetie Belle looked at each other and smiled. We will, thanks to all of you said Rarity, using her magic to put the notebook on her nightstand. It was a pleasure, said Twilight. Oh, um, Rarity, I found this downstairs, said Rarity, handing, or hoofing, Rarity the sealed envelope from the previous night. Oh, yes, the mayor dropped this by when she delivered the news, said Rarity, opening the envelope and looking at the papers inside okay weird break there but okay what are they asked rainbow dash oh nothing just a bit of paperwork for me to fill out said rarity flipping through the pages it says here that they left the most 
more important things like their house, the family heirlooms, the bits in their bank account, and the family albums to me, said Rarity. They also asked that I would take over guardianship of Sweetie Belle, which of course I will, Rarity continued. Does this mean I'm going to be living with you now, Rarity? Should be does there, not does. Asked Sweetie Belle curiously. Yes, dear. It also means I'm going to be your legal guardian, said Rarity. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Asked Sweetie Belle. It means your safety, well-being, and happiness are my responsibility, said Rarity. Okay, said Sweetie Belle with childish ignorance. Which room do I get? Asked Sweetie Belle. The guest room, said Rarity. Come, one girl's... Who is this even? Ah, come, one girl's... Let's go have our crusader meeting in my new room. That should be on, not one. Come on, girls, let's go have our crusader meeting in my new room, said Sweetie Belle. Apple Bloom, Scootaloo, and Sweetie Belle shout out, Cutie Mark Crusaders! in unison, together before running off. Don't think I forgot about that homework mentioned earlier, Rarity called. Rarity's five pony friends chuckled. Another weird break. Spike only. Resuming to stare at Rarity lovingly. Should be something of Rarity's five pony friends chuckled. Excluding Spike only, which he wouldn't be included anyways because they're pony. It says pony friends. But excluding Spike only, who resumed to stare at Rarity lovingly. So that's a really choppy part. The next morning, Apple Bloom and Scooley waited for Sweetie Belle outside the school. You think she's coming? asked Apple Bloom. She seemed fine when we left last night, said Scooley. There she is, said Apple Bloom, pointing a hoof up. The road where Sweetie Belle was walking with Rarity at her side. Are you sure you want to go to school today? I could write you a note if you want, Rarity offered for the tenth time. No, I'll be okay, said Sweetie Belle. Alright, but would you like me to sit in for a while? asked Rarity. No, Rarity, I'm a big pony, said Sweetie Belle stubbornly, stamping her hoof down. Rarity giggled and ruffled her sister's mane, like her father always would. All right, have a nice day. I'll see you after school, she said, turning to leave. Wait, Rarity, said Sweetie Belle. Yes, dear? asked Rarity. Could I have a goodbye hug? Oh, could I have a hug goodbye? asked Sweetie Belle. Of course, said Rarity, wrapping her hooves around her sister. That day in class was going rather well for Sweetie Belle, considering she had recently lost both her parents, until the class bully Diamond Tear told her, Tell your sister her fashion career is over. Ooh, thump thump thump! That's the end of chapter two. So, yes, I'm sorry for being, like, so nitpicky about the story and grammar and stuff, but, yeah, there was some serious errors in there that need to be doctored up. But, yeah, it's good so far. I'll probably read the story again when I get the opportunity. Uh... Hmm, next week, in all likelihood, I'll be doing this again because Sunday after we do, uh, well, hmm, we're doing a double dosage of, uh, uh, Silent Ponyville next week 
at this week on Sunday to make up for what we didn't do earlier. And yeah, most likely. Or we might do it today, independently. But uh yeah, so next week, maybe the week after I should get chapter three out. I'm hoping. <laughs> Sorry, my reading schedule's kinda bizarre if you haven't noticed. But yeah. Good day, goodbye, see ya.